Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here with my 95 offseason, the 1995 offseason for our Chicago White Sox. Now, as you can see right here, uh, we finished right in the middle of the Central Division at 81 and 81. We were in the middle of the division, and we were in the middle of uh, the record you could have in 162 games. So, um, that will, and as you can see up here, October 3rd is the 95 playoffs will begin. So let's go to the standings. And here were the final standings. And, uh, it looks like for the American League, it's going to be, uh, Toronto versus Texas. And, um, and Boston will be taking on the Indians. And then in the National League, it looks as if it's going to be Atlanta versus Montreal and Houston versus L.A. So anyway, this is, uh, this is my lifetime career record in this 94 um, White Sox playoff at the end of the regular season. And just before we begin the playoffs, um, you can see I have an overall record of 170 and 154. Went to the playoffs and the World Series in the first year. Finished third in the division in the second year. And uh, that is is where we are right now and then uh, we will uh, take a look at the playoffs and see who ends up winning it this season all right well let's get into the playoffs as you can see the date is uh, i believe it's october 3rd and the playoffs for the 1995 postseason are in out of the park baseball are about to begin so we will um we'll go ahead a little bit here and we will play to the day and we'll see what happens here so let's see um i guess the expos have won their division series the montreal expos Bent but didn't break against the Atlanta Braves, so they are, uh, they're going to advance, and uh, so are the Astros. Astros go on to the League Championship Series. Now, if you remember, the Astros beat us in the 1994 season in the World Series, the 1994 World Series. Looks like they're on their way. Um, so let's see if we can go to Major League Baseball. Let's see, there it is, playoff coverage. And, um, okay, this is just, uh, well, Texas uh, is going to take on Toronto, and Toronto's up 3 nothing. Oh, Toronto won, too. All right, so Toronto won. Yeah, this was the uh, back in the day when it was the three out of five. So it looks like um, they're going on, too. So, all right, so let's see, let's go uh, to tomorrow. And I got a personal message. Here's a list of Santa Clarita Steel Dogs players who decided to retire. Corey Poole. All right, well, we got a guy, I guess, in our minors. Who decided to uh, retire. But um, let me go. Let's see here. I, I want to get back to that. Um, to that playoff tree. Um, hmm. So let's. let's uh, no we can't go back to the standings. Um. The wild cards are shown here. All right, I don't know. So let's go to uh, play till October 11th and see what happens there. All right, uh, let's 
just pick a date because I mean I'm gonna quick play these. I'm not taking any one particular team in any of let's go to my birthday, October twentieth. So let's see what the playoff coverage now says. Toronto Blue Jays lead the uh, apparently the ALCS three games to two. And um, and the Montreal Expos were defeated, it looks like, by Houston. So it looks like it's, it's going to be Houston is going to be in the series against either the Red Sox or the Blue Jays. And let's play tomorrow and find out. So, yeah, Blue Jays versus the Astros. So that's going to be the 1995 World Series, as when the as where the 1994 World Series was us versus the Astros. This is going to be um, Toronto versus the Astros. Let's go to this date and see what happens. Astros lead the series 3 nothing. Let's play tomorrow and see if that gets any better for them. No, it doesn't. They lost a game. So let's play the next day and see what happens. And Houston wins it. So now Houston has been the world champion of this out-of-the-park league for the both years that I've been starting this 94 playthrough. They beat us in 94. And they beat the Blue Jays in 95. And so uh, tomorrow offseason starts. And there you can see it. There it is. The Astros won it four games to one. Big time. So let's see. The series, the season is over. Your season score this year was 309. This is not a very good score, Bob. You can do better. I certainly can do better. So let's see. Let's go to the manager's office. Let's go to the history, my managerial history. And there you can see I've got my 309 score, which they have in red, which they're trying to make it quite clear to me that that is not good. However, uh, overall, like I say, I was 170 and 154. Um, in the regular season, and three and four in the postseason. Uh, just let's, now, I'm going to take a look at this right now, and then we will take a look at it um, later. But we're going to take a look at my available jobs. So apparently I could get a job managing the Baltimore Orioles in a big market with 84 fan interest. I guess that's on a scale of one to 100. And, uh, or the Rockies, which have an average market size and a 65 um, fan interest. Or the Milwaukee Brewers, who are small and have a 50 and were terrible in this past season. Or the Athletics, who are above average and an 84. So we're going to go ahead here and uh, just take a look. We got another personal message. I'd like to inform you we have made some roster moves. Players lost. Cook to AAA and M. Dickey, the general manager, is letting me know that. So uh, let's see here. Arbitration period begins. Off-season is beginning. Um, so let's player transaction news so nothing big has happened so far I'm gonna get through the awards because I, I really hate the awards and uh, they're probably not going to uh, let me easily get through Alex Fernandez has gotten a, uh, a an extension so that's good news and let's see if okay all right that's an achievement I guess that I unlocked and we're gonna go past the salary arbitration because that's for my general manager to concern himself with um, Let's uh, take a look here. Let's go to 
22nd. All of this stuff, the free agent signings, you have received a personal message. The commissioner's office has informed you that Paul Ossenmacher has declined arbitration and he becomes a free agent. So, Harnish filed for free agency. Karkovice filed for free agency. My God, we can't lose Karkovice. Kirk McCaskill files for free agency. Gubiza files for free agency. He just got to the team and he's filing for free agency. Carl Willis files for free. My whole team is filing for free agency. I'm not liking how this is going to look. But it's up to my general manager to get these guys signed. So we're going to go ahead to December 1st. And uh, or as fast as we can get to December 1st. Yeah, we all right. We did. I'd like to inform you that we have made some roster moves that involve players from your team. Cook lost to Santa Clara. All right, so let's see what happened here. Um, uh, we're taking a look, seeing what's going on here. Here's a list of Laura Rams. General Manager, let's see. After careful consideration, I have decided to extend. Uh, so my contract has been extended. Your contract is for three years at 330000 per year. All right, well, that's great, but I need players. <laughs> if you don't give me good players, I'm out of here anyway. Um, I mean, sooner or later. Um I guess that's the draft pool and um, off season begins. Okay. So uh, nothing really much happened. Hall of Fame voting. I don't really care about that. Winter meetings start. Let's go up to after the winter meetings. I got another personal message. You've just been informed from the office of the commissioner that the signing of Ken Griffey Jr. results in the following compensation. So did we get Ken Griffey Jr.? Get out of here. I mean, I'm loving that if it happened. Let's see. Tom Edens goes to uh, Cleveland. Fernandez. Tony Fernandez. All right. So... White Sox Rockies trade. The White Sox have reached a deal with Colorado, sending 24-year-old minor league catcher Matt Hecker to the Rockies in exchange for 29-year-old Willie Blair. Reports had been hinting at a deal in recent days, but weren't confirmed until this afternoon. So, yeah, there we go. And, yeah, our fans are ecstatic that you signed Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, so am I. As a matter of fact, and I'd like to inform you, we've made some roster moves. Ken Griffey Jr. signed. Um, let's see here. Kevin Apier looks like he's going to the A's. Uh, Burkett has reached agreement with the Phillies. And uh, yeah, Ken Griffey Jr. He took a big, uh, a big payout. Carl Willis is going to, uh, we're going to lose him. But anyway, let's just keep going. Let's see if we can get somebody uh, other than Ken Griffey Jr. I mean, I would love that. Our fans aren't happy at the loss of Ben McDonald. And the overall fan interest decrease. Was, was Ben McDonald really that good? All right, anyway. And we did receive compensation for the fact that we lost McDonald. Um, so let's see if there's anything else in here that affects us. Apparently not. And McDonald, <laughs> ironically, McDonald's going back to Baltimore. So, uh, in real life, he was on Baltimore, as many of you watching will probably know. So, let's take a look. We're going to first-year player draft. I'm going to go to the day after that, because I really don't care about the first-year player draft. Again, that's for my main man, the GM. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, athletics trade Neil to the uh, Angels for Davis. 
and uh, let's see first year player draft all right well we're gonna move ahead move ahead move ahead let's go to christmas eve favorite day of mine on the schedule and uh we extended frank thomas which is really good now we got frank thomas and griffey in the house and uh let's see Let's see what we've got here. Uh, I guess these are old. All right, we're going to go. Let's go to the end of January. We're going to go big time here. We're going to move it. We're going to move it and move it. So let's see what else we've got going on here. The rich guys, the richest players, pirates trade players. Royals and the Pirates trade players. Um, so, I mean, I you know, I don't want to be critical here and say that all so far it looks like all he's really done, all my GM has really done is extended Frank Thomas and gotten Ken Griffey Jr. But, I mean, because those are big things. But, uh, all right, it doesn't look like there's anything that affects us or involves us. So we're going to move ahead. We're going to move ahead to the end of February. You have received a personal message. I'd like to inform you, you made some roster moves. Okay, so so we really didn't get to the end of February. Let's try to get to the end of February. Hopefully they will get us all the way there. Yes. Looks like they got us there. Let's see if anything else happened. Houston and Florida made a trade. Rookie batting leaders. Rob Lukiak has been informed that he was, has, has just informed you that he was convinced by your offer. He has joined your organization. All right. Texas and Cincinnati confirm a trade. Astros and Twins trade players. Uh, let's see. Loiza, Esteban Loiza, moving, moving, moving. All right, so let's see. Looks like, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go up to uh, preseason begins. And, uh, we're, and actually, we're going to try to get to just to before the season. Because stuff is going to happen. Let's try to get up to there. Without too many interruptions. And then we'll be set to go. We'll be ready to go. And yeah, it looks like they're resetting all the player stats and everything and getting ready. And then we can look at our, we can look at the White Sox roster coming into this season and see what we got to work with. And I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised. I mean, I know we've got Griffey. That would have been a pleasant surprise if I hadn't known about it. Uh, welcome to the new season. All right, so we are at the new season. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the White Sox and the... Um, 
let's see, rosters and transactions. And we're going to look at our major league roster. That's really all I'm concerned with for right now. That appears to be this. So we have Wilson Alvarez. Let's go to the top here. Wilson Alvarez, Jason Bure, Alex Fernandez, Kevin Haber. Kevin Haber, is a, he has a 50 stuff and a movement of 50. And, uh, yeah, he's not good. And Jack McDowell. So, you know, we got Jack Mc, Basically, we've got the same, you know, the usual suspects. Jack McDowell, Alex Fernandez, Wilson Alvarez with a very bad beret and um and kevin haber so uh in the bullpen we're going to have willie blair and again i'm just the manager of the team i'm not the general manager so the guys that are on the major league roster right now are the guys i have to work with willie blair francisco cordova donnie elliott kirk mccaskill i love kirk mccaskill we've kept him all these years Roberto Hernandez and Mike Ignaciak. He's coming back. He was on the team last year. Our catchers are going to be Todd Pratt and Jim Weaver. So that's not good. That's not a good catching crew. I guess we lost uh, Karkovice. I'm not happy to hear about that. Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is still going to be at first for us or a possible first base prospect. Frank Thomas is on the roster. Craig Graybeck at second. Dustin Livingston as a second baseman. Robin Hyven sure is going to be at third base. Guillen at short. Jermaine L. A Allensworth in center. Lance Johnson uh, is a possible center fielder. Talbot, Ken Griffey Jr. in right. That's what they're projecting. Darren Jackson is a possible right fielder. And John Nunnally as a possible right fielder. Now let's see what Ken Griffey did last year. Uh, in 1995, for Seattle, he uh, had 100. Now, I want to point out the White Sox really did have Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, briefly, but I think it was after 1995. He had uh, he played in 151 games. He had 609 at bats and 43 home runs with 142 RBIs. So, yeah, we point, ponied up, and we went all in to get him. And so let me look at the manager's uh, We'll go back to the manager's office briefly. We're going to start off, I guess. Let's take a look at our season schedule, uh, team schedule. And we are going to look at April. And, yes, we are starting um, at Seattle and then at California. So we, uh, and I'm not going to start the season in this, um, in this uh, video. We'll do that some other time. But um, so, yeah, let me go here. Let's see what um, available jobs I have now. So it looks like it, it expanded a little bit. I can go to the Orioles. I could go to the California Angels. I could go to the Reds. I could go to the Rockies, the Brewers or the athletics. So that's where we are. And we are, you know what, with that, I think we're set to start our 1996 season in out of the park baseball with the White Sox. Hopefully I can do better than last year where I was only 81 and 81. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.